Okay, so last week you created your practice drawing inspired by Jean-Michel Basquiat. And we learned about some public art and graffiti style this week. Today, we're going to put it all together with our, our final drawing. So what you're going to do, first things first, you're going to transfer your drawing large onto this paper. After we transfer it large, I'm going to show you some really cool tips and tricks. We're going to use some oil pastels to make it look like Basquiat. Okay, so we transferred it large. You filled up your whole paper. Now you're going to get to use and share safely these oil pastels with your table. You're going to have some detailed pastels that are smaller, and you're going to have some large pastels for your big areas. So my idea is first, for things first, we're going to use the big pastels and color in your big areas. So choose like some main colors that you want to work with, like a color scheme almost. So I'm going to go off of those original Basquiat's and they use a lot of primary colors and then a lot of black. So that's going to be my main idea. I'm going to use my big pastel to do my big areas. And once I'm done with all my big areas, then I can use my small pastels to do the details. Now yellow is a good color for faces because the yellow is very light, and it's going to contrast that black that we're going to add all the way at the end. Remember, black is last. So, other good thing is that his aren't colored in perfectly. So, you don't have to be 100% on your craftsmanship. This is one assignment that I'm going to be like, okay, you get off out of the lines. That's cool. That's how Basquiat does it. He is very loose with his lines, but I do want you to try to fill all of the space so that it stands out. So, big areas, big pastels. Little areas, little pastels. Okay. Now I got some basic colors in there. I'm going to use some of my detail pastels. And remember, you can do pastels in layers, which is what makes them so fun and cool. And add details. Make sure you're putting them safely back in their container. Now, you might want to leave a, some white space, that's okay, but we don't want to leave a lot of white space. You can also mix the pastels. So, I put yellow down first, and then a layer of blue, and now it kind of mixed to that green color. And using your finger or a paper towel, you can make them darker. All right, once you're getting all of your ideas down and you color in the whole main area and you're happy with it, the last part is to do your background. Now, he does kind of like a scratchy or what we call like abstract looking background, it's kind of scribble scrabbly. We can do that. So, to do your background, let me show you. You can probably my big pastels again. scribble in different directions. I do want you to get close to the face and close to your lines. So don't scribble there. See, I'm trying to color a little bit close to my lines, but the more towards the outside you get, the more scribble you can get. So nice, neat near my face and my lines. That I took all that time to draw. Nice, neat near my lines. But as you move away, you can scribble a little bit. All right. The other thing is you don't need to just use one color. So I use blue for a good bit of this. Being careful by my lines. Don't worry because we're going to outline it all in black at the end. But you can do more than just that. And see how I'm going in different directions? That helps to add the chaos that he wanted in his art. I'm not just going in one direction. I'm going in all different directions with lines but not perfectly colored. All right, last thing before you are all done. Take your black oil pastel after everything's colored in and make it a nice, thick outline so that it stands out. And you can add some lines for movement But 
this should take you all class today and into next week. All right, so take your time. Outline all of those features. Make them stand out. is last like I said after everything is nice and colored in okay so go ahead you can get started on your Basquiat you need to leave some place white like the teeth you can do that too and I cannot wait to see how they look finished